What's the connection between a Swedish chemical plant and happy sperm? Selenium, of course. Once upon a time, long, long ago, okay, 1817 to be specific, a pair of Swedish chemists owned a plant where they made sulfuric acid. One day, they noticed a buildup of a red residue, which they just assumed had to be arsenic, as was abundant in the local mine. But when they burned it, it smelled pungent, like horseradish, which really confused them. After another misidentification of the element tellurium, they realized that they stumbled across a new element, naming it selenium, after the Greek goddess of the moon. Selenium found in earth or soil, much like our Swedish mine, is taken up into plants like onion, broccoli and mushrooms. But the amount of selenium in our soils varies across the continents. Some levels of China have immensely high levels, whereas parts of Eastern Europe have extremely low levels. So just like Goldilocks, the selenium level needs to be just right. Excessive intake of selenium leads to a disease called selenosis, which is characterized by a garlic odor on the breath, damage to hair and nails, with extreme cases leading to death. On the other hand, selenium is essential for forming antioxidants in the body, in turn, helping make happy, healthy sperm. So first to the antioxidants, which we hear about all the time in our foods. Antioxidants mop up free radicals in our bodies, a byproduct of cellular processes which use oxygen, which cause damage to cells or even DNA. Cigarette smoke, overexposure to sunlight, or even unhealthy foods increase the amount of free radicals. And selenium? Well, selenium is used in the body to make selenoprotein P, which travels around your body, taking down these free radicals, like a cellular secret service, protecting cells, including sperm. But selenium's job doesn't end there. It's then transported to the testes by selenoprotein P to make up other selenoproteins for sperm health. In selenium deficient diets, sperm cells are deformed and motility is affected. Whereas in supplemented diets with selenium, it was shown to help form normal happy sperm which could swim in the right direction. This has been shown to be both due to the antioxidant protection and the selenium content of the supplement. So if this was a fairy tale, selenium could be both the wicked witch and the knight in shining armor. But I think we can all agree, selenium is definitely the S-E-X-Y element.